students now i am going to explain refraction of light at plane surfaces part 3 refraction of light at plane surfaces part 3 so in this chapter so we'll discuss critical angle total internal reflection concepts some figures are there look at the figure 1 look at the figure 1 so there is a water denser medium and upside air rarer medium xy separation between them that is called interface n n normal o point of incidence now one ray traveling through the water that is denser medium incident on interface at o so definitely it is deviating uh, from their path or bending away from the normal why this light ray traveling from denser to rarer medium it is bending away from the normal that is called refraction so your angle of incidence i there is some angle of refraction look at the figure 2 same figure 2 water denser medium a rarer medium x y interface so there is a one ray travel through the water incident on interface at o so now it enters into air we know that when light ray travels from denser to rarer medium it is bending away from the normal line so it is bending away from the normal line it has some angle so when you observe the angle uh, figure 1 and figure 2 so angle of incidence increases in the figure 1 figure 2 so in the figure 2 angle of incidence increases at the same time angle of refraction also increases okay so gradually if angle of incidence increases angle of refraction also increases angle of refraction means the angle between normal to refracted in increases okay now look at the figure 3 same situation in the figure 3 there is a light ray travel through the water that is denser medium incident on interface xy at o so we observe that here angle of increase angle of incidence increases more than the angle of incidence of the second figure here angle of incidence increases automatically angle of refraction also increases now let us see so this is the refracted ray so moves near the interface your angle of refraction increases so let us see fourth figure in the fourth figure there is a light ray incident on the uh, that one uh, point of incidence at uh, o on the interface so <coughs> this refracted ray moves along the interface that is called grages so in the fourth case in the fourth figure angle of incidence increases very high and the angle of refraction also reaches to 90 degrees the angle between normal to angle of refraction is a 90 degrees so in this case the refracted ray grages the interface or moves along the interface touches the interface so in this case angle of refraction is 90 degrees so if the angle of refraction is 90 degrees the corresponding angle of incidence is called critical angle that is denoted by c actually i is the symbol for the critical angle of incidence but there is a particular name critical angle it is denoted by the letter c so what is critical angle so if angle of refraction is 90 degrees then the corresponding angle of incidence is called the critical angle so in the critical angle light ray travels from denser to rarer medium the refracted ray grages means touches the surface of the water surface of the medium okay that is the critical angle now let us the definition of critical angle the angle of incidence at which the light ray traveling from denser to rarer medium grazes the grazes the interface 
is called the critical angle it is denoted by letter c so there is a relation between refractive index and critical angle that is n is equal to 1 by sin c n is equal to 1 by sin c that is the matter about critical angle now let us see one more important concept total internal reflection total internal reflection let us see what is total internal reflection so to understand this let us see uh, some figure so we have taken the water is the denser medium this is the water denser medium okay so era side of the uh, denser medium is the rarer medium so xy is the surface it separates the water and the air so that is the denser and rarer medium xy is called interface xy is called interface so this is the water that is the denser medium and uh, that white portion is the air that is the rarer medium xy is the interface and o is called point of incidence so now let us draw the normal normal means the vertical line which makes the 90 degrees to interface so n n is the normal passing through the o that means point of incidence okay now let us see one ray ao ao ray traveling from a to o in the water so ao ray traveling from a point a to point of incidence o in the water in the denser medium so definitely we know that so when the light ray traveling from denser to rare medium definitely suffers from refraction so clearly it is bending away from the normal line so this is the bending away from the normal in the direction of op so ao is the incidence incident ray travel through the denser medium and op refracted ray travel through the rarer medium that is air let us take one more light ray suppose another light ray traveling from the point b to o bo bo is also another incident ray so travel through the water that is the denser medium definitely it is also suffering from the refraction why any light ray travels from denser to rarer medium definitely suffering from the refraction it is also bending away from the normal line so it travels in the direction of oq travels in the direction of oq so that is in case of bo incident ray the refracted oq touches the interface grazes the interface moves along the interface already said that in the previous topic so in the previous concept so that is the critical angle so in this case the angle of incidence is called a critical angle so oq is the refracted ray it grazes the interface that means uh, angle of refraction is 90 degrees in this case angle of refraction is 90 degrees in this case okay the corresponding angle of incidence is called a critical angle let us take one more ray do do incident ray passing through the denser medium that is water incident on xy at o so definitely the the critical angle in this sorry the angle of incidence in this case greater than the critical angle so the angle between nn and ob is the critical angle so here the angle of incidence of the do light ray definitely greater than the critical angle so now this refracted and not refracted into air it is returns into the back return reflected into the same portion so this phenomenon is called total internal reflection because here c is the critical angle c is the critical angle but the the angle of incidence made by the do ray definitely greater than the critical angle so if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle that ray not refracted into air it is reflected into same portion reflected into the water or denser medium same portion this phenomenon is called total internal reflection okay now let's see the definition total internal reflection when the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle the light ray gets reflected into the denser medium at the interface this phenomenon is called total internal reflection 
in this phenomenon light never enters the rare video it is returns in the same portion okay so if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle the train not refracted into air it returns into the same medium that is called total internal reflection so let us see for the total internal reflection to take place following condition should be obeyed so for the occurrence of total internal reflection we have to follow the some conditions let us see what are they so the first condition the ray incident on the interface should travel in denser medium so the condition the incident ray definitely travel through the denser medium not rarer medium so uh, in this case only total internal reflection occurs the ray incident on the interface should travel in the denser medium that is the condition one now to let us see condition two the angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle for the given pair of media so for the occurrence of total internal reflection two conditions are there first condition incident ray should travel through the denser medium and uh, second condition the angle of incidence of the ray should be greater than the critical angle for that medium so when we follow these two conditions then total internal reflection occurs now some uses are there they are practical applications of total internal reflection so due to total total internal reflection we can see some observations in our day to day life so let us see what are they first one formation of mirage formation of mirage generally mirages are formed in summer days i will explain so the practical application of total internal reflection first one is formation of mirage second one is the brilliance of diamond it is our experience diamonds are very shine so they have very brightness that is called brilliance so the uh, the brilliance of the diamond due to total internal reflection so the reason for the brightness of the diamond uh, is the total internal reflection third use optical fibers optical fibers are used in uh, uh, trans uh, communication systems etc so now i will explain later optical fibers so these three are the practical applications of total internal reflection so they are formation of mirages brilliance of diamonds optical fibers now i am going to explain formation of mirages by, by some examples okay let us see what is mirage mirage is an optical illusion where it appears that water has collected on the road at a distant place but when you go there we don't find any water so it is uh, occurs in hot days particularly summer days so when we go along the road so th uh, there is a appears water on the road but when you go there we don't find any water so that is the optical illusion optical illusion this is called mirage now so this is the relevant diagram so on the tar road so we observe that at the distant place uh, water appears but when you go there we don't find any water that is only illusion the this illusion formed by total internal reflection so it is very clear this picture gives the information so on the uh, road there is a water but actually it's not water when you go there we don't find any water this illusion is the re uh, cause for total internal reflection there is also one more example so on the road the images of the tall trees and skies are formed on the road so we feel that they are also like water when you go there we don't find any water now let us see the reason or explanation for the formation of uh, mirages okay so suppose this is the air air has the different different layers of the different layers of different temperatures so in summer days the air which is near to the ground or road is very hot the air which is away from the road is very cool 
so gradually the temperature decreases when you go upside when you go up there so if uh, their density also changes their refract indices also changes so upper portion acts as the cool air the lower part acts as the hot air hot air is the very low density cool air is the more density now let us see how image uh, how uh, images of the trees formed on the road suppose let us see so these are the rays coming from the sun suppose incident on the tree tree so definitely due to reflection it is reflected so <coughs> it reflected so reflected to downward direction suppose uh, this air has the different layers different layers of the different densities different refract index due to different refract index this ray is suffering from the refraction so bending bending from the normal line so it is suffering from the refraction at one layer so continuously so the layers of air changes their temperature changes their density changes their their refract indices also changes due to change the refract index of the air layer it is also suffering from the uh, refraction again bending uh, away from the normal so suffering the second time refraction continuously so it is also once uh, due to total internal reflection so in this case the angle of incidence is greater than the critical ang critical angle this ray not refracted to another layer it is returned to same portion so moving upside to reach the our eye so but our eye feels that these rays are coming from the ground actually the rays which are uh, uh, meets the a uh, meets the our human eye Uh, from the tree but our eye feels that these rays are coming from the road or ground due to this reason so there is a image formed so this image um, appears as the water but when you go there we don't find any water this is the explanation for the formation of the mirage okay let us see explanation so during hot summer day air just above the road surface is very hot and the air at the higher altitudes is cool altitude means some height is cool so density of air increases with height we know that refract index of air increases with the density refract index increases with the density so the refract index of air increases with the height so when you go up the refract index also increases so the cooler air at the top has greater refract index than hot air just above the road so actually there is only air but it has some layers different layers are there different layers have have the different densities different temperatures and different refract indices so due to different refract indices uh, the ray is suffering from the refraction okay so when the light from a tall object when light uh, when the light from tall object such as tree or from the sky passes through a medium just above the road it suffers from it suffers from refraction and takes place curved path because of total internal refraction curved path because total internal reflection so due to total internal reflection we feels the image formed on the road so this refracted light reaches the observer in direction shown in the figure okay this appears to be observer as if the ray is reflected from the ground so this is the reason for the uh, mirror formation of the mirrors hence we feel image of the tree being present on the road okay so this is the explanation part for the from for the total internal reflection that is the formation of the mirrors so in the next class i will explain the reason for the brilliance of the diamond and the working of the uh, optical fibers thank you thank you one and all please do like share this video and subscribe to our channel